deteriorating, why they're having to go to emergency rooms, why they can't breathe, you know, why they're getting Alzheimer's. This has been planned. We have elites, I don't know what you want to call them, one worlders, Illuminati, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. But with these people that don't care about the average person. They only care about themselves, their greed, their power. And if they eliminate, you know, two thirds, three fourths of us from the planet, so much for the better for them, because then they don't have so many people to have to hurt around and worry about. So this is, uh, this is a lot what this is about. And this is very, very alarming and scary. I mean, where is this stuff coming from? And why? Why is this kind of stuff being put out there? Uh, you know, I've heard different explanations about, oh, we need to cool the planet, all this and that. But if people are up there trying to cool the planet, why do they need all this kind of stuff in, in it? Uh, the explanations just never have really rang very true. And as I'm setting up the equipment, she looked at me and she said, all these trees here are dying. And I said, what? She says, all these trees in here are dying. So I thought, well, I'm going to test for aluminum because that's one of the key things in the programs that we're talking about and titanium, and I took some of this bark sample and tested it, and it came back positive with aluminum and titanium. Mm -hmm. Then I started traveling around California, noticing the same thing. In Lake Tahoe, there, there was a lot of the same type of bark all through Sacramento area and Davis. Just about everywhere I went, I was noticing this silver white bark. Mm -hmm. What I think is happening is these chemicals are getting down and destroying the roots and then as they come up, they're going out into the bark. Those two right there are the ones that are, are just, it just hurts so bad to see these two because look how old and big they are. We probably lost 40 trees right here on our 10 acres. Every week, every other weekend, we'd see another tree that was beginning to die. And I mean, it's just so sad, we'd just cry. And to think that that might have something to do with it, along with their other explanations, would really, really frost me. Every time you lose a tree, you know, it's, it's not good. It's just sad. And there's another one over here in this little group of trees here. Don't you feel better when you stand up and fight than if you crawl down in a little hole and go to sleep? You know, I mean, my gosh, people, there are, your families are out there, children are out there, your grandchildren. I mean, you've got to do something to help. My greatest hope is to get people to question and hey if they don't wake up while we're there I'm hoping to plant some seeds. We're going to the most beautiful place on the planet, Hawaii, to, to see what's going on, collect some data. Thank you for having fun with us. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Have a great vacation and welcome home if you're lucky enough to live here. Thank you. The whole valley is off the crate, so it's either solar, wind, or um, generators. Look at this, man. Yeah, the mind can't even conceive of it. Right. Yeah, right. Even even coming here, and, and one would never think, you know, in, in paradise, that, that it's getting destroyed. And they're doing it island style. They do it off the island, right? They do it off the island. So they don't, you know, you don't see the chemtrail airplane. The theory is that they're spraying the ocean, yeah. offshore, and, and it's it, coming in on the and it's coming in. Now these are coming from the west. They're also spraying on both sides today. A lot of this stuff is actually chemtrails coming this direction. There is material that's blocking. We should be able to see to the horizon, you know, where the Earth curves because we're high enough and we have the ocean, right? So we should be able to see. We should be able to see the Big Island. It's only 30 miles away. 
And you can see it's not a blue sky behind it. That's the key. It's all, it's all you know, has that kind of weird looking blue, like silver blue, I call it. And this is a nice day. You know, there's no more blue sky. The night, we're going to look at the stars tonight. And it's like, there's, you'll see, you can count them. There's so few stars at night now. There should be hundreds of thousands of stars, and I can count the stars. There's like one here and one here and one planet here. It's like, you might see, some nights you'll see a hundred, some nights you'll see ten. This is what concerns me, this kind of stuff right here. It's just soft. Okay. This just comes right off, this bark. That's not natural. Where I've seen hundreds of thousands of coconuts and I've never seen it falling apart like that. Look, look at this, you guys. I've never seen anything like this. They used to trim trees all the time in Big Island. I've never seen anything like that. That's why I'm concerned. Not an easy task that you have here on the island. I could see the skepticism because it is so far beyond anybody's reality. It's amazing. It's just amazing to not to try to look through somebody else's eyes. Like my eyes, I, I can see this so, it's like night and day. And other people it's just, it's just the, 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 the illusion is just so deep. What do you think would happen if everybody awakened to, uh, to what was going on and what the plans were of geoengineers? I think, <laughs> I think they'd have a revolution in Hawaii. If people really understood what was going on. What's your concern for, I know that, that you love the land here. What do you, what's your concern about the chemtrails? Well, that, that we won't be able to live here and grow our own food. And that our health is going to be compromised. Do you uh, think it already has been? Yes. And the, the thing is that they're doing it every day here. Every day. So it's hammering, 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 hammering. Micro doses every day. And then, of course, it's getting in the environment, and of course, it's weakening the plants. And it takes a couple years for this to actually weaken the plant. So we need, we are asking for GMO taro. We're asking for GMO papaya because we can't grow our natural seeds. We can't be sustainable. We can't truly, you know, be here as God created us to be. Um, so my friend convinced me to do a hair analysis on my daughter. So we went ahead and cut close to her scalp and got some really recent, recently grown hair and sent it in. I was just sure that my daughter's hair was going to be so clean with the lifestyle that we live. And lo and behold, it came back and her levels were really high in aluminum. This is the chart here. Um, this is the reference range and this is where my daughter is. 23.1 aluminum. The skies are covered with a white mist, and I look up at night anymore, and I don't see the deep, dense stars that I used to, and I can't help but think this obviously has something to do with my daughter's health. I don't know where else these heavy metals are coming from. Yeah, I mean, look, look how old she is. Yeah. She's been isolated here. Here, and she's... Uh, uh, here. Anybody looking at the situation would be like, this is paradise. This child should be like super here. Organic foam. And here you are getting all this heavy metal stuff. And she has, you, she has the highest level of aluminum on the chart. Never had a vaccine either. Folks, these people are playing God. They are playing God. They're manipulating the weather and they're spraying stuff into the sky. They are trying to geoengineer everything, including your plants and trees and your ocean. Well, tonight, we're just hoping that instead of not looking at it, you start looking into it because I really believe from the bottom of my heart that we are in a real crisis. I really do. They are proposing dumping 10 to 20 million tons of aluminum into the upper atmosphere. What does aluminum do? It changes the pH of soils, which is toxic to plant life. Also, it's very toxic to human health. Are they doing it? Well, let me tell you about my experience and what we found. We have much evidence that not only suggests, but I believe prove that they are happening. Yeah, what's going on? 
Clayton. As I promised, we're joined right now by a very special guest, Michael J. Murphy, currently on location uh, in Hawaii. He's working on a documentary film called What in the World Are They Spraying? Michael, welcome to the program. Great to speak with you today. I had a friend who recently, he, he's, he's, uh, he's always looking at, at, at things from a different perspective. He's a bit, he's a bit of um, uh, a conspiracy theorist, you know. And he says that whenever the president comes to L.A., there's no spraying that week. Could you have a better place for an interview? I mean, look. <laughs> well, this is being done. Mm -hmm. over our over our farms and over our things so basically they want to eliminate our ability to eat organic food clean food have clean water so it in some ways it, it sounds to me like and you know again it's just a projection but it sounds to me like this is control how do we control the masses yeah how can aluminum be good for you in any and what was the second chemical any... you mentioned it's uh it's barium barium, barium aluminum obviously those are toxic to 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 everything to human health to yeah. human health to to farms to animals, to everything. 61,000 parts per billion. And th there should be a government alert at 1,000? At, at 1,000, people are drinking this. People that climb the mountain, they're drinking that snow. It's poison. Oh, my God. That's 61, so 000. disgusting. So that's, that's 60,000 times above regulation. E exactly. 60,000 times above regulation. And I've, I've talked to friends, and they're like, well, that's just ice. That's mm -hmm. just condensation. I... And I'm like, you can talk to a second grader. Ice doesn't float in the sky and spread out that way, you know? You're not an expert, but you're a concerned citizen who said, wait a second, He's actually doing I want to, yeah, you're doing the research, and that's what we need to do as Americans and say, you know what? I want to know what's going on. I want to know what the FDA is doing to my food. I want to know what the government's doing with my air and my water and, and, and the soil. And, you know, it's just great what you're doing. And, and, and I, I just, my kudos to you for, for bringing light to this subject. Put all of the theories aside, just what geoengineers are proposing and what's being found is scary enough. So we can just address that. And I encourage, you know, I encourage more people to just step up and ask questions and, and do what he's doing. So thank you, Michael, very, very much. Uh, aerosol spraying aluminum uh, affects everywhere. And we have a beautiful tropical climate, which I believe might be in jeopardy. So we wanted to not only come and, and bring the message of what people were finding around the world, but encourage people to test for the aluminum strontium barium. Essentially, I think it was an effective trip. I saw a lot of people here in Hawaii, in Maui, awake and not only curious, but willing to, to look into this deeper. And that's my only hope. And this is one of the boldest moves, I think, from Ed Griffin yet. Uh, this is the taboo topic that nobody's supposed to talk about, and that is aerosol spraying. Now, we've got uh, tons of documented proof of errant aerosol spraying. It, it just blows my mind that, that the whole essence of humanity has always been to look up into the sky and ask why. Though there are no limitations, there is endless space, an endless universe. Now, in the 21st century, we're not allowed to do that. Anyone who looks up and sees the giant grids and the X's in the sky that, that weren't part of our existence until just a, a decade or two ago is somehow called a kook. And the people that are the best and biggest proponents for the revolution and for liberty, they don't want you to talk about it because you could discredit them. It, it seems to be an industry that's being built up to uh, to milk the taxpayers by undergoing some kind of a giant a spraying global spraying program to make all kinds of money on the project, and they don't seem to care really.